the bow left and it's, it got hit. It didn't really all sink. But he was not on it. So through the prayers of watch. Jesus, he was saying, I was on the champagne, I was on the, I was a plank owner on that one. And, uh, you were what? Plank owner. What's that? We own, we own, he owns a I own one plank on the ship. Champlain. The paper's someplace around. What's your, what's your yeah, job? I got a certificate on it. What was your job? What'd you do on the ship? We used to take care of the planes. We used to run them up in the morning, race them up, charge them up, and everything. It was like an air, air deal mechanic. What jobs did you have, Ma? Me? Ma. She, she worked I in worked Lipton's in Lipton's and Maxwell. Not Maxwell, Lipton's C and Stanley Plains. And Maxwell, too. Well, what Maxwell was here after I was married. My first job was sewing. Then when the war broke out, we all hired in Lipton's making war soup and powder, pepper and salt for the army. And then later on, I went to Standard Brands. After I had Mary Ann, I went back to work and I worked at Standard Brand. Then later on, I went back to Lipton's and then I went to Maxwell House. And what would you like to say to your grandchildren that maybe uh, like Stephen and David or grandchildren that are not born yet? What would you like to say to them? I'd like to say that we love them. We love good help to bring them up. Uh, they got good parents to bring them up. And uh, I would want them to tell them. Lots of love. Lots of love because that's what really makes, puts things together with children and parents. Plenty of love. What's the key to life, what you would tell them? I would tell them that uh, to always be good people and to love their parents. Number one, that's the first thing they should do. Respect and love their parents. Even though there are things that respect go wrong sometimes, the thing, right? they have to respect their parents. And respect. always hang out with good people, good company. Respect your elders, right? And, uh, Hang out with good friends, we feel that's what I would say. We did a pretty good job with your kids and hopefully we'll continue as long as God, God gives us love and life and so that we can enjoy it, enjoy it, <laughs> stay with you people. All right, say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. I to want to all. say that tonight is a, is, a, is a very, very outstanding night for me and Daddy uh, for what you did that film. Yeah, that film because was really nice. sometimes you get discouraged and you think your kids aren't so Something great. Different. But tonight made me realize that they're very great. <laughs> and, and I realize it more and more because in life everybody needs examples to make them realize things. And this was a good night for me to realize a lot of things. And I thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord and my for children. Everything. And may He's always continue to, to be Lord good people. Do the right things and enjoy. My life. grandchildren are precious. I have and ten. Ten precious grandchildren. I wouldn't know which one to say I love because there's there's no way in God's world could you say love one more than the other. No, they're, they're too same. precious. You look at each one of their faces and you know that that's the answer. They they're each all, have a different charm about them. They're all wonderful children. And we love them and we love you kids too. Thank the Lord for that. All right. Okay, well, have Rachel. A Merry Christmas. Rachel was the first grandchild, was the first experience of a girl. And Edward was the first of a boy. And they were great, great experiences, the two of them. They were a month apart. We had a lot of fun with them. And they grew up to be fine people, too. The other children are fine children, too, but they came later on. The first two was an excellent experience. They were like twins. They showed apart. an example for the rest of them. Yeah. And Thank they're you. still two good kids. <laughs>
Thank you, children, for everything. We love you, we praise you, oh Lord. Thank you. Christmas of 1992. And we'll be back for 93. See you next year. <laughs>